We just finished the Olympics, and many of us marveled at the performances from the various athletes, whether it was the fabulous five of the women's Olympic uh, gymnastic team or the final swim of Michael Phelps. While it is exciting to see someone win a medal, there's even more uh, excitement when one breaks a, a world record, when they ran faster or scored higher or whatever it might be that nobody else has done before. It was one thought impossible to someone to break a four minute mile, but now it's not usual, but it's doable. Once one person has reached that goal, other athletes will say, well, maybe I can do that as well. The achievement of the unthinkable is really at the heart of today's feast of the Assumption. The church teaches that when Mary's earthly life was finished, she was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory. In a sense, she set a record. She did something that no mortal had really done before, or to be more precise, she was the recipient of a gift from God, which had never been given before. With perhaps the exception of the prefigurement of the prophet Elijah, who was said to have been taken up to heaven in a fiery chariot. What we celebrate today is our belief that we have the promise of life beyond what we have here and now. We believe in an ultimate resurrection of the dead. Our resurrection, so that as Mary, we too might be united with the Lord. As we celebrate this Marian feast, we might reflect on the fact that the reason she was so honored was because of her perfect response to God's word. We who hope to follow where she has gone must examine our own lives and to see how we respond to the Lord's invitation in our own life. Unlike Mary, all of us have sinned. We're always in need of God's love, patience, and forgiveness. May we use this feast as a moment to ask pardon and to renew ourselves in our journey of faith, which has its goal to have the same record as Mary. Unlike the Olympics, it's not a game, but the living out of our lives as disciples of Christ.